hi uh, this is another interesting question it is given that uh, a work is completed uh, such that on the nth day from the start n men join the workforce so let us try to interpret this statement so let us say one person started this job okay on the second day that means the nth day n men will join so the second day two men will join so on the second day two men joins this the first person now on the third day three people join so already one plus two people are there and again on the third day three people join the first three people so on, on the fourth day we have one plus two plus three plus on the fourth day four people come and join this workforce so this pattern continues so now once you understand this concept let us assume that one man capacity equal to one unit right now on the first day how many units will be done one unit again we have to rewrite this equation and on the second day because two people join now we have three people so the total work done on the second day will be three and on the third day uh, there are total six people so six units of work they will do and on the fourth day we have 10 people so 10 units will be done so this pattern continues so like that uh, they complete this job they completed this job in uh, a total of 11 days right so first of all how do you find is it's definitely you know not easy to continue this pattern till the 11th day because we know that on the last day there are total 11 people joined so total sum equal to 1 to 11 so first of all to find out uh, the sum of all the terms we have a simple technique first of all you should always find the nth term so tn so the nth term if you observe it suppose on the fourth day there are four terms right one plus two plus three plus four therefore the nth term is sum of the first n natural numbers if on the third day it's a sum of three natural numbers if on the eleventh day it's a sum of eleven natural numbers therefore the nth term will be n into n plus 1 by 2 right now we have to find sigma tn so this is nothing but sn so we have to apply a sigma sigma n into n plus 1 by 2 this will give you the sum of all the terms so you just bring this uh, 1 by 2 to the front now we have sigma n into n will give you n square and uh, n into 1 will give you sigma n right so i'm writing this equation here so 1 by 2 you just keep it aside now sigma n square what is the formula for sigma n square n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 this is nothing but sum of the first n natural number squares right plus sigma n again n into n plus 1 by 2 now you take uh, n into n plus 1 by 2 common because n into n plus 1 by 2 exists in the both the terms so just pull out this n into n plus 1 by 2 term to the front now we left with 2n plus 1 whole divided by 3 plus 1 now let us simplify this once again so n into n plus 1 by 2 right now 2n plus 1 plus 3 that means 2n plus 4 2n plus 4 whole divided by 3 right now what we got here so is this 2 gets cancelled out in 2 here so 2 into this 3 will give you 6 so 1 by 6 n into n plus 1 2n plus 1 no 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 n plus 2 right n plus 2 sorry n plus 2 whole divided by 6 so this is the sum of the first 11 terms so to find the answer okay uh, let us uh, write the answer here so if you substitute n equal to 11 here we'll get the total work so total work can be calculated as so 1 by 6 into so put n equal to 11 11 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 13 6 goes how many times 2 times here so this is the total work you just keep it like that now we are asked to find uh, 
find the number of days in which 11 men working together finish the work so there are no joinings no leaving nothing so if 11 people are working on the job every day how many units they will do 11 units so here the total work is how much 11 into 2 into 13 if there are total 11 persons are working on this job from the starting day so they will do 11 units a day so this 11 11 gets cancelled out so we left with 26 so the total work will be get completed in 26 days